What we're now going to look at is a general condition for whether or not a strategy is an ESS. Um, and so the theorem goes like this, that X is an ESS. Um, that means that y, uh, for any y different to x, then we have two things. One, that the utility of x in x has got to be greater than the utility of y in x. In other words, that the particular strategy just does the, this particular potential invader is not as good. Or uh, they have equal utility. So utility of x in x is equal to the utility of y in x. So actually, y does just as well in uh, in x, and um, the utility of x in y is greater than the utility of y in y. And conversely, if one, oops, not and, or two holds, then x is an ESS. Okay, so this is, this is our general theorem. And what it's saying is that right here we've got, well, as soon as y tries to invade, y is not as good as x in the population. Or um, y is as good as x in the population, but as soon as we have enough y, uh, our population is mainly y, x is actually better. So, so y will not be able to invade, x will resist. Now the the proof is um, almost similar to the algebra we did before for the particular case of the first strategy. And it goes something like, like this. So, um, so x is ESS. That means that the utility of x in x epsilon is greater than the utility of y in x epsilon. And that is just equivalent to 1 minus epsilon times utility of x in x uh, plus epsilon times utility of x in y is got to be greater than 1 minus epsilon times the utility of y in x plus epsilon times utility of y in y. Okay, that's just the, the definition. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, first through this proof uh, this way. Okay, so we're going to see if these two things holds, does this inequality hold? And um, we can more or less just see that because um, we can say if one holds, um, then utility of x and x is greater than the utility of y and x, um, we, and we can just say for epsilon small enough condition holds, holds. Um, however, if um, two holds, so if two holds, we have that xx and yx are the same, so, so this term disappears. Then we've just got this equality uh, here, and what we've got left is exactly this. So then condition holds. So that's the proof going one way. That's proving that if we have this condition, then we have um, an ESS. Um, now what we're going to do is, is prove the other way. Um, so what we're going to do is say, let's assume that um, the conditions don't hold, then we can't have an ESS. Okay, so we'll just go um, for the conversely part. If the utility of x, x is less than the utility of y, x. So we're kind of, uh, so this is essentially not one, right? Um, then for small enough epsilon, right? Because if xx, the utility of xx is less than the utility of uh, yx, 
then we can just make epsilon small enough that this term disappears and all we're left with is this term and this term and uh, the condition won't hold. Um, so condition won't hold. But then likewise if we go if u of xx is equal to u of yx and u of x, y is less than or equal to u of y, y. So this is not 2, right? Not the second condition. Um, then the equation doesn't hold. Condition doesn't hold. Okay, so just looking at this, we, we, we see that if actually those two things are equal, but what we're left with is specifically a condition that doesn't hold. So that's that's the proof. So that so what's nice about this proof is that it actually gives us a nice efficient way of calculating whether or not a strategy is an ESS. And you'll note that at no point did we actually use the epsilons, which is which is very nice. So we have this kind of condition to find ESS. Um, we write down uh, a, a bar belonging to R and N squared. So we write down the normal form game, but it has to be symmetric, right? And then we go, let's identify all symmetric, and this is very important, Nash equilibria. Now, the reason we need these symmetric Nash equilibria is because actually the conditions of the theorem are simply uh, con further conditions on the Nash equilibrium. So they're stronger Nash equilibria. So we're going to start off with our Nash equilibria. And then three, we're going to test the conditions. So in essence, the idea is that we've, we've got our strategies, our pairs of strategies. Okay, and we have these pairs of strategies, and within these pairs of strategies, we've got our Nash equilibria. Within the Nash equilibria, we've got our symmetric Nash equilibria, so where both players have to do the same thing. And within those symmetric Nash equilibria, we've then got ESS. Okay, and the way we're going to check ESS is we're going to check the, those conditions. So now we'll, we'll do a little example straight away. And so the example we're going to look at is we're going to say, let um, A equals 1, 3, 4, 1. And I'm not going to do this now, but we th this game has three Nash equilibria. Um, so 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, oops, sorry, that's incorrect. 0, 1. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. And finally, it's also got 0. 0.4, 0. 0.6, and 0. 0.4, 0. 0.6. Now, going through the steps, we can get rid of these two because we need the symmetric Nash equilibrium. So this is the only one that kind of fits within this block. And it's not symmetric. These are not symmetric up here because the two players are not doing the same thing. But this is symmetric, so we're there. So now we just need to check um, the, ESX, uh, the ESS condition. So the, the first thing we have is, is u of x in x greater than u of y in x? But the whole point of um, the Nash equilibria is that actually our utilities are the same at these two points. So you can go ahead and calculate this. So you can calculate what happens um, when or when I do this. But the, the idea is if we put u of uh, x on in the column as 0 0.4, 0 0.6, then actually the utilities of both rows are the same. So this, this will always be that we have u of x, x, equals u of yx, okay? And that just comes from 
uh, the, the notion of how we get this equilibrium in the first place. So now what we need to consider is we, we know that we have this. So now we need to consider is, well, is u of x y greater than u of y y? That's, that's the question. And um, what we now simply do is we calculate it. So um, for a given y, so let's say let y equals y1 y2 with y2 equals 1 minus y1. I don't know why I put brackets over that. 1 minus y1. Um, let me calculate what u of x, y is equal to. And remember, u of x is 0.4.6. Oh, sorry, x is 0.4.6. Um, we just go through the algebra and we get that this is equal to y1 plus 1.8. And we can also calculate u of y, y. And we get that that's equal to 5y1 one minus five y one squared plus one. So that's just plugging in the numbers um, where this is the row strategy and this is the column strategy. Um, and then what we can look at is what is the difference of u of x y minus u of y y and just do do the math we we get minus 4y1 plus 5y1 squared plus 0.8, which we can factorize as being equal to 5 times y, which be y1, y1 minus 0.4 squared. But because we're starting out with the assumption that y is different to x, we know that y1 is different to 0.4. So in fact, that is always greater than 0, keeping in mind that we got and so we can conclude by saying, uh, thus, x equals 0 0.4, 0 0.6 is an ESS. So it would be resistant to invasion.